Hello folks, welcome back to another uh, review, thoughts, uh, checking out the menu, which I saw the trailer for, and I was interested in it, I will say, after watching it, it's not a bad film, it's not a bad flick at all, um, a bit confusing, uh, I was a bit, I was a bit confused towards the meaning, the end, uh, climax, the third act anyway, of character backstory. But other than that, I, I thought it was a decent watch. Um, I mean, it deals with these rich, snooty, snobby people. That, uh, they want to go to this expensive island that serves, like, I guess the best food or whatever by this amazing world-known chef. And basically, he has a already a menu for all of them served up and or, or uh, organized. And uh, the movie begins to unravel these people's past throughout the movie. Um, and I will say again, the acting was fine um, from most people. Uh, the main guy, that the, the chef. I liked him. He reminded me of the dude that played in Storm of the Century. Uh, Stephen King's Storm of the Century. The guy that played this demon guy, or I don't know, I, don't, I forget what he's what his name was in that movie, but the guy that knew everybody's past, uh, this is what this guy reminded me of. His vibes, his mannerisms, the way he spoke to people. I really liked, um, it did give me, actually, those vibes of that movie, because they're trapped on, they're stuck in this, on this island, in this room, basically, in this restaurant, um, they can't, they're not allowed to leave, um, is it even funny where he gives them a chance at one point to run and escape, and they all, all the guys end up getting captured while they have the women just sit in the, go back inside. I thought that was like, because this is, it's a horror, it has horror elements, and then it has, it's a black comedy, essentially. Like, it has humor in it as well. Uh, they do push the humor a bit in this, which is fine. Uh, the trailer does have you thinking it's a cannibal film, and it's not at all. It's more a social, what I'm told, social commentary on food food culture. Uh, people, I'm not even sure what really that, I guess people would, don't really um, appreciate the actual food. It's more of... I don't even know how to... I'm not even going to go into that because I'm not good at explaining stuff. I'm doing movie reviews. The movie shot fine. It's shot really well in some spots. Um, it's not shot really bad at all. Uh, again, the acting from Anna, Aunt Anya Taylor-Joy. She played in uh, The Witch, which I don't care for that movie. That's an overrated film. I liked her in it. I just don't care for that movie. Uh, I liked her in, what was that movie? She played in a few other movies. She played in, uh, Split, I liked. I liked her in Split. Um, I liked, I didn't see Glass, but uh, she's in it a bit. And I would have to watch that. Um, I know she's in other stuff. I can't remember other flicks that she's in that I've probably seen. But I, I like her over... Oh, she was in uh, the New Mutants uh, X-Men film. Uh, everybody hates, mostly. I like it, but I know a lot of people don't. Um, but yeah, she's a, a pretty good actor actress. Oh, she was in... Uh, what was it? One Night in Soho? Or A Night in Soho? I forget what it was called. She was in that, I believe... Yeah, she played a pretty big part in that. Not even pretty, she, played, she played a big part in that. Uh, 
co-starred. Um, yeah, she's been in a few stuff that I've seen, and some I mo some mostly liked or didn't mind. Again, The Witch, I don't care for. Uh, but this, I would say, I, I liked her character a bit. They She does have a backstory as well. Can I say she was the most likable character in this? Because everybody else is kind of not. Um, I mean, granted, because you find out her whole backstory, and it's not even really as bad as... She's not a horrible character, I should say. She, like, her life choices doesn't make don't really make her a bad person. Um, nor does all these other rich... Granted, these rich people are douchebags and, you know, snobs, but they don't deserve to die. But, like... So I didn't like the ending of all these rich people. They end up dying. Into spoilers. They end up dying anyway, so, like... What, they, don't, they don't bother to try to fight really back. They don't try to band together. And There's even one point in this where <laughs> I thought it was really cruel. Where they they had on, and Anya Taylor-Joy's character, Margo. Uh, you know, her real name, her character's real name is later revealed. I forget. Cassandra, I want to say, but I could be wrong. But Margo... At one point, the chef ends up uh, trusting her because she's not really supposed to be there due to later on stuff. But anyway, he begins to like her. Um, she ends up calling for help. Help arrives. But then you find out, oh, that police officer's actually a chef <laughs> or a cook in the kitchen. So he pretty much pretended to be a... You know, he was in cahoots. At first, I was like, this guy's going to die, but then he, because then he reads the note that the, the washed up actor guy, who, I forget his name, He he's played in a few other films I've seen. I forget his name. I liked his assistant, though. She was too hot to handle. Um,. But yeah, everybody, I didn't care for the, the whole, where every, all these people die except for, granted, at least it's not a downbeat ending, where you have at least one character survives, but it sucks, because I would have liked to at least, at least have the, why not the older lady that had the, the one older husband, he uh, cheated on her, you find out, but she didn't seem as bad as, really, as him. Because he cheats, so they screw him. But the wife, I understand. I mean, I guess because they, they're they regulars at the chef's island. for they, They've been served 11 times, apparently. And they can't remember a single uh, meal that they've been served. Even though they've been there a bunch of times. But, so I, but still, I... <laughs> I wouldn't. Have, I would like if she maybe got away. Like, let her. I would be like at least let her and Anya Taylor Joy's character, let them go off on the boat and get away. But, nope. <laughs> She's the only one that survives. Um. Again, you find out the chef's backstory, but I didn't understand it because it's, it's showed through pictures, and I'm not as. Uh, <laughs> I was in tuned with what it was trying to say about him. I guess he was like he used to love cooking a lot, but then it became more of a obsession over versus the love for that uh, occupation. And pretty much, he I guess pretty much realizes he's just like the rest of these rich people at don't really care about the, I don't know, but anyway, uh, again, the social commentary, I'm not going to go into, because I'm not good at explaining that, if anything, go to an explain, ending explained, um, but yeah, I overall like the film, I would say, 
It's one of the better films of the of uh last year. <laughs> 2022. Uh, yeah, overall. Oh, it's directed by Mark Mylod. I don't know what else he's done. But, uh, yeah, I would say uh, give it a watch. I do recommend it. It's not a gory film. I'll, I'll say that. It's not, it's, it's not really a lot of gore. Not really a bloody film much. There's only like, what? I want to say two kills because you have the main uh chef lady she dies and then you have another oh you have three deaths because her Anya Taylor Joy's boyfriend you find out he's in cahoots with the chef he brought her there knowing what was going to go down he kills himself because chef told him to because he's a failure or <laughs> But yeah, I was, so I didn't understand these people's, not not the rich people, but the, the chef, his crew of cooks in the kitchen, I understand their whole devotion to this guy. Why go this far to be, you know, a robot, essentially, a pawn, and they all decide to die along with him, and they all blow up at the end, so I'm like, Wow. He tells them to kill themselves, and they do it. Like, <laughs> no hesitation. Okay. Uh, yeah. Overall, I liked it. Uh, leave a like, comment. What are your thoughts on this film? If you liked it, uh, let me know down below. And, uh, yeah.